Let's talk about Egypt and its ambitious, futuristic city rising up from the desert sand, Egypt's new administrative capital. But if you think this is just Cairo 2.0, think again. This city plans to house Africa's tallest skyscrapers, giant green spaces, and enough solar panels to make even the sun think twice. And the centerpiece is the Forbes International Tower, a skyscraper designed to be powered by hydrogen. So what's with all the hype about hydrogen? Hydrogen is one of the most abundant elements in the universe, so you think we'd have figured out what to do with it by now, but producing it in a green way is easier said than done. The cleanest form, known as green hydrogen, comes from splitting water using renewable energy. This is costly, and in many places, the infrastructure is still in its baby steps. But it sounds cooler than burning fossil fuels and has way fewer carbon side effects. Now, Egypt is betting on hydrogen to fuel its ambitious future. Bold? Definitely. Realistic? Well, that's up for debate. Right in the heart of Egypt's new administrative capital is where the Forbes International Tower plans to shine. Standing at a jaw-dropping 240 meters, that's nearly 800 feet tall, it's not a modest building. Designed by Gordon Gill from Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill Architecture, the same minds behind the soon-to-be tallest building in the world, Jeddah Tower, this is not their first dance with the bigger, the better. This 43-story skyscraper would not just be a shiny new building. It's supposed to be powered by 75% hydrogen and 25% solar power. That means no traditional power grid, which in Egypt could be a huge plus given the electricity demand expected from a city housing 6.5 million people. Of course, the term net zero is a star here, but there's a catch, net negative. The idea is to reduce carbon footprint so dramatically that the building pulls more carbon out of the air than it ever puts in. For those who do not know, net zero buildings are designed to produce as much clean energy as they consume. Net negative, on the other hand, It's the equal equivalent of achieving superhero status. Only a few buildings around the world, like the Z6 Tower in Beijing, have managed to make net zero carbon look easy. But going net negative? Well, that's like showing up at the Olympics, attempting a triple backflip and expecting gold. Hydrogen is still a baby on the energy scene when it comes to practical use at this level. In theory, powering a skyscraper with hydrogen sounds like science fiction. But in practice, we're talking about a logistics nightmare. Green hydrogen is expensive and difficult to store, and it's highly flammable. The liquid organic hydrogen carrier technology they're eyeing is like storing hydrogen in the suitcase so it doesn't explode on the way to the hotel. It's great on paper, but we're not talking about a tiny battery here. We're looking at tons of hydrogen. But hey, who knows? The new administrative capital is not just about fancy towers and clean energy. This $58 billion city project features massive green parks, more green than Cairo has probably ever seen, a green river park area for recreation, the largest cathedral in the Middle East, and space for government buildings to call home. The city promises to tackle Cairo's traffic and overcrowding while trying to reel in international business. But here's a dilemma. Egypt's other pressing needs could arguably use some of that $58 billion. Yes, hydrogen skyscrapers look futuristic, but many Egyptians would just be happy with reliable water and power in existing cities. Egypt's government is trying to brand a new administrative capital as a beacon of modernity, but the truth is a bit murkier. At its heart, the project has a noble aim, relief pressure on Cairo, but critics argue that it's diverting crucial resources. After all, a building powered by hydrogen may sound eco-friendly, but the construction of a brand new city at this scale involves massive resources and environmental impact. Plus, if all this clean tech doesn't pan out as planned, we might be looking at a costly experiment in the middle of the desert. So, Egypt's new administrative capital and its star, the Forbes International Tower, are bold bets on a high-tech, eco-friendly future. From hydrogen-powered skyscrapers to sprawling green spaces, it's all glittery, ambitious, and undoubtedly exciting. 
But as with all such ventures, only time will tell if this dream city is a sustainable miracle or just a mirage in the desert. Until then, here's to Egypt for giving us a lot to talk about, and maybe even a bit to laugh about along the way. What do you think about this? We have always talked about hydrogen as a fuel for the future. Well, it seems the future is now staring us in the eyes.